bit more of a creamy froth on mine. Me, A.D. Smith. Stirred. Okay. Not shaken. An award-winning TV presenter, podcaster, and journalist. Do you know that term, blind drunk? Yes. yes. I can taste it. He also yep. suffers from Tourette's syndrome. Yourself, so this is Tick Attack. <laughs> I think the main thing for me is people with Tourette's are looked at as a burden, but in actuality, we all have this superpower. I mean, if we find our passions and what we really, really, really enjoy doing, then, and you'll probably have this too, our ticks completely go down. Yeah. So they might still be there a little bit, but when we're really focusing on what we love doing, then they're barely existent. And that energy that would otherwise go into those ticks, we're then rechanneling that. We're rechanneling that into what we love. For me, Music has been essential in helping me control my tics when I need to. For Edie... It realised through anxiety at the beginning, it was art calmed me down. And then during when I used to have overloads, I'd just, just put my mind on a, like a drawing pad and I'd just calm down because art's always been my thing to just cope. I would say like the best one for me re like recently is like reading and I didn't think that that would be I, don't, I didn't think that would work with my tics, but when I like properly focus and read, my tics really, really calm down and I'm like... I'm Studies show that self-initiated coping with tics is vital for improving the quality of life of individuals. However, not everyone who suffers from tics has the ability to suppress, or at least do it comfortably. So what sort of help is available for people like Tilly, Harry and Ellen? You know, some, some people with, with Tourette's don't mind what people think of them and they don't need to suppress their tics. Um, other people want to be able to express their tics because they're, they're more embarrassed. So it's, it's an individual choice, but habit reversal therapy is a technique where they can use the urge like to tic really to suppress, it, suppress the tic or produce an alternative movement. It's been such an amazing experience to meet so many people who suffer from tics, which I hope to use to spread further awareness about the disorders in the future. But you have heard enough from me for now. So I'll let AD wrap things up. But I've just gotten myself to a place where I'm comfortable with who I am, I accept and I embrace who I am, and it's a part of my identity. I think when I had that epiphany and I began to embrace my Tourette's rather than run away from it, that's where things started to change for me because I no longer felt like I wasn't in control. I felt like I was in control. And when I have my tics, as I say, it's just a part of AD Smith, that's it.